We've got team coverage tonight of the busy holiday weekend ahead. A lot of people are spending their holiday at Lake Monroe and the trip to your holiday destination. Well, it could be a bit cheaper than last year. Let's start out on the lake where it's going to be hot and humid. At least it has been these last few days. Yeah. Is that going to continue this weekend? We'll have that check with Brian yeah. just a bit. In the meantime, Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik is explaining what you need to know to celebrate the unofficial end of summer safely. For many Lake Monroe regulars, life on the water is like a home away from home. We have a boat on a slip, so it's really nice, and we become friends with that whole dock. Lakers like Jay Nelson say people from all over fill the waters each year. It's people all across Indiana, but even some from Kentucky, and then we get their family and friends too, so it's really cool. And so it's just becoming a family down there. Many new visitors take a trip to Lake Monroe as well, especially on big holiday weekends like this. And few know that more than the staff at Four Winds Lakeside Inn and Marina. We'll have have a relatively full hotel this weekend. Uh, the restaurant we expect to be busy with several events going on, live entertainment outside. Um, you know, it, it's just a great getaway. That ain't my hotel guests will be treated to live music all weekend long, but Four Winds says anyone else on the water is encouraged to stop by and join in on the fun too. There are also plenty of rental options on the water as well. No matter where you're cruising to though, Four Winds GM Brian Lewis encourages everyone to do so safely. Obviously have a designated driver for your boat and wear a life jacket anytime you're in the water. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a professional swimmer or if you're a two-year-old. Um, you know, always have a life jacket on. As visitors say they look forward to celebrating the fruits of their labor this weekend, they also look forward to one final summer hurrah. It's a great three-day weekend and just kind of become a big tradition down here to amp it up and that kind of send off. Some people start, you know, dialing their boats back a little bit, so you start to see less and less people after here. So it's, it's pretty awesome, though. In Monroe County, Michael Van Skoik, have a happy Labor Day weekend.